Ramser. On the same day that high school English teacher Emily Ramser won an award for being an outstanding Texas educator. She stood in front of the Grapevine Colleyville School District to tell them why she was among dozens of staff members resigning this year. This community has continuously harassed me for the past few years, to the point that there were days I didn't even want to be alive anymore, much less be a teacher. So I'm going to listen to what I am hearing from this community, which is that y'all don't want people like me, people who might be gay, to teach here. School districts across the country are facing a teacher shortage, fueled by burnout and low pay. But in Texas, many blame politics. Last year, Ramser's district saw a 40 percent jump in resignations and retirements after new conservative school board members pushed to remove hundreds of books and restrict lessons about race and LGBTQ identities. I have taught these kids for years to write and to grow their voices, and I'm not going to let my actions say something different. Ramser, who identifies as queer, says she was asked to change some of her lessons and to remove classroom artwork and rainbow stickers. Then one afternoon last year, a parent told a local news site that Ramser encouraged her child to become transgender by lending her a book called The Prince and the Dressmaker. All I did was give a kid a book. What went through your mind? I was terrified. I couldn't breathe. I couldn't think. The mother who accused Ramser declined to speak with NBC News, but the child and her father say the allegations were false, that the child already identified as transgender. The district cleared Ramser, but never made a statement for her to the public. The district declined to respond to NBC News about this specific case, but acknowledged it has more openings this year than last year, saying many other school districts, not only in Texas, but across the nation, are also experiencing this declining retention rate of teachers and other employees. It's like almost like we're, we're in a battle against the school board when the school board should be on our side. Students described Emily Ramser's classroom as one of the most welcoming spaces at school. I think Ms. Ramser was a few places anyone in general could feel accepted, no matter your race, religion, gender, sexuality. Do you feel safe at school right now? Not entirely, no. I'm sorry. There's a lot of aspects of who I am as a person that I cannot express because of the environment of the school that I go to. NBC News obtained the district's 2023 teacher engagement survey. In it, almost 300 out of 1,500 staffers complained about the board. By the end of the school year, Emily Ramser's once vibrant classroom was barren. Nobody can stop you from getting the education you deserve. I will give you book recommendations because I can give you book recommendations now, <laughs> hopefully, but you really can do anything. Surrounded by her students, she was determined to teach one final lesson. Antonia Hilton, NBC News, Grapevine, Texas.